way, guys. First duck hunt ever. Headed to uh, meet up with my buddy, longtime friend of mine. Uh, we we actually grew up together, so um, I've known him forever. And uh, I'll be introducing you to him a little later on. His name's Johnny. But <clears throat> excited to do this. It's the first, like I said, first duck hunt for me, and it, it's uh, really early for me. So uh, I got out got out of the door at 3.15, running a few minutes behind. This is Johnny, the duck slayer. What's up, guys? <laughs> Just getting a little petrol before we head out. Anything you'd like to say to the group? Hello. <laughs> it's early. Hello. <laughs> I haven't had any of <laughs> this So tell us, Johnny. What? What's up? What are we hunting today? Oh. <laughs> Pie hole. Uh, well, we're going to go out and uh, see if we can find a couple ducks to shoot in the early season. And while we're out there, we'll shoot a couple more hens. More hens, alright. Now, is there a, is there a, uh, like a season for more hens at all? Or is yeah, it, yeah. yeah it's, uh, it starts September 1st. I'm not sure what it runs through. Gotcha. Uh, but it's the first first thing you can shoot for the year. Fifteen apiece. Now is this something like I know the more hens that uh, that I've seen fishing just kind of walk through the cattails. Same kind of deal, or you just blow them out of the cattails, or yeah. they gotta fly off, or yeah, most of the time you have to throw a rock at them to get them to, get them to fly <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty dumb. Nice. You shoot one, and the other one just kind of looks at the other one. Oh. Like, what happened, Bill? Yeah, what happened? Oh, now I'm dead, too. <laughs> now, how does it work with uh, public lakes? Is any public lake, can you hunt pretty much any public lake, or how does that work? Uh, yeah. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> um, this is a a, a non, uh, non-quoted non yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah. We're, we're just uh, chit-chatting. Yeah. <laughs> Go and check your regulations yeah. before you do anything we do. <laughs> you want to, even lakes that you can hunt, sometimes you want to stay away from the drama of it. You know, if there's a bunch of houses on the lake. Yeah. Doing down there, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, a little, a little rigging I little, got here. A little rigging. <laughs> yeah. Well, there went the light. Hey, it's 03 Chevy. It happens all the time. <laughs> so, this place we're going, is it somewhere you really need a blood motor or is it? Uh, yeah, for any, most duck hunting, you need a blood motor to get to the spots where you're going to be hunting. Gotcha. I, I told you before, you can hear the guys with outboards yeah. in the morning. Gotcha. A bunch of lily pads and the hydrillas, you know, that's what the ducks eat, so you want to be in that area. And the hydrilla is just all over the place. One of the questions was, well, how do you, you know, how do you retrieve ducks if you don't have a, have a dog, you know? Yeah. And so they uh, they said get a big, you know, big saltwater reel with uh, with some line and a big you know, with, with a with a plug with three treble hooks. And uh, one of the guys said that he was trying to retrieve his duck and he kept pulling bass out of the hydrilla. Oh, it's like that's awesome. Now that was my next question. Now, what was like uh, what was it like hunting with a dog, you know, in Florida waters where you know pretty much any mud puddle's got a gator in it. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely want to like motor around the spot before you before you uh, set up.
first of September, man. I'm, I'm, it's hot out here. Yeah, you're wearing a big parka, so I'm, apparently I'm gonna freeze on my way out. <laughs> the thousand gram. Uh, <laughs> For here, Johnny. Um, just seeing where they're at, seeing where they're flying, um, if they're even here, kind of seeing the spots where they land. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to tell all your secrets? Is that what it is? Yeah. You don't want to tell all your secrets, Johnny? Yeah. <laughs> just, sub <laughs> just just keep it to what I can find on FWC. Some, some so you can see him, okay? This is, this is a moorhead. Hung up on you. <laughs> My kids do that to me all the time. They're like, I want to talk and stop hitting the button then. <laughs> Good day all in all. Yeah. No, we didn't get to see a lot of birds, but yeah. Oh, 
there's the breast right there. Breast. And then you eye. We don't need eat the breast. Just cut right down yeah. the breast bone. Yep. Yeah. We don't need eat the breast. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna eat them. We don't need eat the breast. The small ones. You don't like your breast. No. No. Now you're gonna have to thin that thin that jerky out. <laughs> yeah, really. And touch the head, Daddy. Daddy, touch the head. Be patient. Okay. We're not gonna cut the head. Why? Why, Daddy? Because we don't need to. We're not gonna eat the head. No, I'm talking about dye the head. I want to see you doing the dye thing because it's a. He's little. already died. Ah! Ah! It's way. Two little more hindrances. <laughs> like, there's some there's his legs. So really, all you do is just you just pl you just poke a hole in the skin and then yeah. the skin pretty much pulls he away from it. Right yeah, yeah, it's pretty loose. You break oh. his leg, Daddy. Mm -hmm. You raked his leg. I did. Whatever we call that. Pruning shears. More than just pruning, right? Right. Why? You don't want to touch it by yourself. Mm hmm. You raked his mother leg. Uh, you, you, you did his leg. Yes. You did his leg. His leg probably has we'll more meat than the rest of this. We'll hold it. <laughs> yeah. We'll hold his leg. Patience, you don't want to break his leg. He breaks his leg. Yeah, one, go. Yeah. <laughs>